And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And every reason to be enthused because our action coming up is from the Dritte Liga. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. A real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have, officially speaking, the worst attack in the league. Well, quite simply, away from home, they just don't get enough players into forward areas. They need to get the midfield players to make runs. They need the fullbacks to play higher up the field and the forwards to run behind the opposition. It has to change soon and it has to be today. And the lineup for the home side. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five man midfield. But will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. And the match begins. Might be able to produce from this position. Well, not a great ball played in. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But well, nothing comes of it. Dmitry Nazarov. And teammates around him. Oh, breezing past him. But no damage done, that's the main thing. Manfred Starke, wonderfully weighted pass and gobbled up with ease by the keeper Sam Schreck Hood looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead to take the lead oh that was begging to be put home but the goalkeeper has it oh could be but I'll tell you what that didn't miss by much Accepting it intelligently. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And making his move inside. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. danger here as he runs at them oh surely a smart stop here
elects to go short. An effective challenge. Using his strength to shield the ball. Well, tremendous block. And a tidy challenge. Takes the shot. A oh, good hit, close shave. And he has options available. Can he take advantage? Oh, a smart stop. And over comes the corner. Well, he's lost it. Manfred Starke. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. How about the cross? So there goes the half-time whistle, and it is a story of parity. Stuart, what have you made of the visitors' display? Well, we discussed their lack of goals at the start of the game, and nothing has changed my opinion during that first half. They just lack invention in their forward play. The only saving grace at the moment is their defending, which has been really good. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. A oh, very effective play in possession. They could nudge in front. Nicely saved. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And he's fired over the corner. Well, good hands there from the keeper. Stefan Nkansa. Burger. Dmitry Nazarov. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. It was a terrible looking challenge and a big decision for the official here. And with that, he's been dismissed. Well, they're going to be under pressure now. That's a needless sending off. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Comes to nothing in the end.
He's protecting it effectively. He has teammates around him. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Well, as you can see from those stats, they're just not creating enough. They need to play at a quicker tempo, get the ball into the danger area and get more players in the box. Make the opposition have to defend it. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Well, they've decided to make a change. Elias Hood. Beautifully disguised ball. Oh, but just unable to unlock the defence. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Will he finish? Just can't get it past him. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Into the final 20 minutes. Stefaniak. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Going well. Really good block. Oh, a vital interception. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. A chance to whip it in. Strong defending. Still pushing for what could be a winner. Can they forge ahead? Well, they've gone and missed a wonderful chance. Well, with time running out, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity. I just can't see them getting another one now. Sam Schreck. And that puts them in position. And it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here and forward they go chasing the game but they dealt with the threat first check what about the stoppage time situation two minutes the word In the right place to cut out the pass and there goes the final whistle it's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned well I thought it was a really intense game lots of quality lots of good individual displays in the end though they won't be happy with the defeat nor the manner of it conceding so late on